Today I'm going to be showing you my candles. I have a book kind of them to show you. Um, this is originally going to be a lot of a slower video and just like chill and relax, but I just tried to record this and I ran out of space on my phone and I didn't even get to like five minutes, so even though I just deleted like 20 videos, so I'm just going to be, it's going to be a little more bit speedy than I wanted it to be. Okay, so this is, I love candles. I like them all year round. And this is what I currently have. This is a salted caramel mocha candle. It is from TJ Maxx and it's five dollars. And I think it's like a three ounce candle, so it's on the smaller side. Um, but for just five dollars, and um, this was actually gifted to me. I didn't purchase this. It was gifted to me today, and I've already lit it. And the lid, and it, it's I, you can't even tell it's burning, but the lid is like latte art. It's so cute. Um, so that's going today. That's the scent that's producing this video. And then these are kind of going from like spring scents to winter scents. Um, this is a mint chip ice cream candle from Marshalls, which is basically TJ Maxx. I don't really know the difference, but um, I love it because it looks like a pint of ice cream. This is a pretty big candle. It's 10.6 ounces. It has, I'm not even a huge fan of green mint ice cream, but this is such a good smell. It's so refreshing. Like sometimes I want I like candles because I want it to smell good, but I, like, I don't want like a really heavy scent, and this is such a light scent. It smells so good. I love it. Um, I have this saltwater mermaid candle. This is a smaller candle. These don't have sizes on them, but I want to say this is probably like a three ounce candle. Um, this is from a local, a little local shop. I don't think they sell online or anything, but it's a little like a candle go. Um, and it is a salt, salty, 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 salty salt water and kind of like a perfumey scent. Um, but the thing I love about these candles is that they always look really, really cool on top. But of course I've burnt them now, so they don't. But this one has blue gems in it and they're have all sunk to the bottom now. Um, so when you light it, it's like a sea at the bottom. It looks so cool. This next candle is from the same company, but it is a campfire scent. Campfire scent, and this lamp there, but it's like a five or an eight ounce tin. Um, and it has these little like leaves in it. Leaves and herbs and whatever. I cannot describe to you the scent. It doesn't really smell like pine, which is what usually forest scents smell like. It has a very smoky scent to it. And then the last one from that company is the Pumpkin King. Um, I just bought this one recently. It is brown sugar, bourbon, pumpkin, and maple. It's a nine ounce candle. Um, and it is like a half clear glass, so it burns kind of like orange when you burn it. It had some little black things on top, but then also it had a pumpkin made out of wax, and that pumpkin had glitter in it. So when you burn this now, there's like little glitter on top, and it looks so pretty. Um, the thing I like about these two are they're wooden wicks, so they crackle when you light them, and I just think sounds so nice and refreshing. This next one is Hocus Pocus, and then to the Halloween themes. Um, it's called Forest Night, and this has a very pine, pine scent, like what you, what I usually think of when I think of a forest. This is a 16 ounce candle, and it was $9.99 from TJ Maxx. A lot of these are from TJ Maxx. Um, their candles are really cheap. This next candle is called Mariety. It is a Sherlock themed candle. Um, it has a quote on the top and it's this little wooden lid. This says that it's scented amber or vo vanilla in poison apple. I do not get an apple scent. I do not get a vanilla scent. So I don't really know about that, but I do love the smell of this. It is from, um, I don't know, but I got this in a book box, a mystery book box, the unplugged book box. They might still have some from Zero. I don't know. Um, and then this one is the Haunted Elixir. It is also a 16 ounce candle for nine dollars or sorry, nine ninety nine for ten. This is pumpkin spice scent. I just think this is so cute. And this is a like white slash clear jar. Um, it's interesting because I don't actually love pumpkin that much, but this has a very like cinnamon nutmeg taste scent to it as well with that, where that spice comes in and I think it smells really good. These last three candles are all coffee scents because I love coffee and I love the smell of it. Um, so the, these are all from like little local shops, but I think they sell online. I'm not 100% sure, but this is Swan Creek candle. 
Candle Co. Like I bought them from Small Shops. Um, it's a 2.75 ounce candle and it says cinnamon donuts and coffee and it says little dipper top donuts and coffee on top. This is like pretty much gone. There's almost nothing left to it. Same with the next one I'm going to show you. But I'm holding on to these because I really, really love them. And the store only sells them in the fall and winter. So I'm waiting for them to get back in. So I can like compare it and buy the same scents again. And this one is Hug and Mugs. But it is on the roasted espresso. And again, this one is pretty much... It's gone. There's no more brand. Um, same size, same price, but I really do. Last candle of the day, what this is called Books and Coffee. It is by Hardened Soy Candles. I got this from a bookstore. Um, it smells like all the best things, of course. Books and coffee, but it really just tastes like coffee. Well, I, f I find a lot of candles that say they smell like old books, but like that has never been a scent that I have ever smelled in a candle, but it smells like coffee and I love coffee. So this was a, on the like more expensive side of what I've bought, but um, it's a nine ounce candle and it was $20. So I think this is the most expensive candle I've bought, um, but that's okay. It's okay. Supporting small businesses. Um, yeah, that's everything. I love candles. I hope that I get a lot more of them for Christmas. Um, I am excited to get some like um, more wintery scents in. I found that I really really like that forest night one and that's like the only kind of scent that I have that's like that. I have a lot of like pumpkins and coffees and whatnot but I do want to get some more forest scents. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great night.